Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this case, we have a question about a diver who had an operation to the shoulder, the left shoulder, including the so-called rotator cuff, which is where the tendons of the muscles of the arm actually go underneath the bone, which is between the scapula, which is at the back, and the collarbone in the front. And they had a so-called distal clavicle dissection. In other words, they actually had more room made for the tendons to move so that they would have less impingement of the tendons in that particular area. And they're concerned about whether they are more likely to get decompression sickness or not. I'm glad to tell you that the issue of previous injuries uh, being more likely to result in decompression illness is largely overblown. And if the area has recovered completely, which requires usually between six and eight weeks, the chances are that you would be able to go back to diving as long as you have full range of movement and you don't have pain and can, of course, wear your dive gear like your BC and uh, do all the necessary procedures without discomfort or pain or even with disability. So if you can do everything you need to do, you don't have pain and you've allowed enough time for it to recover fully, there's no reason why I would think that you can't continue diving unless there was a complication related to this procedure as such. If you're uncertain, we always recommend go to a diving doctor to just have it checked out before you go diving. Until next time, safe diving.